Chad Greenlee's thought he was just watching a normal summer storm. Here comes the hail, I think. But as the lightning grew closer to his Arvada house, Chad never thought he'd capture this. Just as the camera went black, so did Chad's ability to function. I, I was really incoherent. My ear really hurts and rings still. But somehow, he's still standing. Chad says after the strike, he was physically paralyzed. You can even hear him fall to the ground. <clears throat> then the video cuts off. Can you believe what was actually captured on tape? No. No, I, I, I watched it about 20 times. <laughs> There's no obvious signs where the lightning hit. The family's house doesn't have any damage. The damage really only yeah, rests on down. Chad. I think this is what I got when I fell. This is an IV band. They, they got to me so fast. While Chad's fine now, people all across Arvada are still cleaning up. All the screens are shredded and destroyed, the siding. Tonight, Mary Gibbs' home is in need of major repairs. The hail chipped away at her siding, and the wind filled her yard with plenty of debris. All of a sudden, there was tree limbs down, and there was like piles of hail, and I was like, oh my goodness. The storm also responsible for knocking out power for some 11,000 people across Denver. But by this evening, that number is down to less than 100. Monday's storm is one people across Denver aren't likely to forget anytime soon, especially people like Chad who promises to be more careful in the future. I don't think I'll go playing in the rain as much as I used to. I really don't.